right, Amir? Do you hear me now? Uh, yes, yes. I all right, now. wonderful. I actually never used Skype before, so... Yeah, it's all right. I understand. You are welcome, Mr. Amir. I'm happy to have you, my friend. All right. So what so, do you like to say to us? You know, what do you... Tell, tell me, you see... I want you to con to convert convert us to Islam. What what the, what the Muslim he do to convert a person to Islam? What you would tell us? First of all, I'll just like to give my background. I am from a Muslim family. Okay. I am living in U.S. of course, right. and I am actually studying right now Islam and Christianity. So I did. Um, I I mean I don't know if you know Adam Seeker. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, I had a debate with him about Christianity. Not debate, but more like a discussion. All right. So he put some good points. Anyways, so I'm still in like in the studying mode. mode. Well, I'm Adam Seeker, my friend. Adam Seeker is of one of ten of thousands who left Islam because of me. Adam Seeker, him and his family, they left Islam because of me. And you can ask him. He's a very nice guy. Anyway. Yeah, he he put some good points against yeah. Islam. So so yeah. so I'm, I'm you know I'm I'm welcoming you to give me the good point about Islam. You know I'm not going to give you now the any positive uh, negative or positive. I'm listening to you. Why you are a Muslim? See, like I say, I'm I'm studying it. I was born in a Muslim family, and everybody around me is Muslim, and they they tell me such good things about it. And I'm trying to see why there's so much people are talking about negative things in Islam, but. I am looking for the positive why my family who is doing who are like good people they they do good deeds like you know they're just nice people don't commit any crimes and they're Muslims hmm. right but what does this have to do you know we see I, I can be good you can be good he can be good we can be bad you see if a if a Muslim is a bad person I'm not going to say because he is a Muslim he is a bad person but the question is was your prophet Muhammad a good person like your family or he was a bad person See about the Prophet Muhammad, right? Mm. I don't know his history as much as I mean. There's a lot of hadiths, right? But I don't really believe in all those hadiths, mm. so I can't really say for sure whether those are accurate. All right, you know, my friend. Uh, last month I became a prophet. I don't know if you know that, and then I receive uh, a revelation from God, Allah. And he told me any believing woman she like to offer herself so you can sleep with her. What do you think about the revelation I received? Is it from God or from Satan? Yeah, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Last month I became a prophet. Last month, uh huh. Uh huh. And I received a revelation from someone. He told me he's God, I know. And he told me any believer woman, any believing woman, anyone, anyone, you know. She can offer herself for you so you can sleep with her. Do you think this revelation is from God or from someone else? It seems like your imagination. Uh, so I'm imagining. All right. Why do why you think I'm, ima I'm making imagination? Why? I mean, you know, you have desires. And if you're, you're like in your thoughts, if you're seeing all these things, like, you know, your desires are actually taking over you. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, you know, so you saying if like, you're hungry, you will see burgers and stuff. Exactly. Whatever you know you what? Like. Sometimes, like when I'm hungry for women, I see chicken. I mean, my friend, <laughs> but 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 this is supposedly God. I mean, how you know? How you can prove to me that this is just my desire taking over, not from God? Maybe this God is worried about me. He know I like women, and he wanna satisfy my needs. Yeah. So you have to first see what I mean. When we see God, right? We have to. Mm -hmm. I'm going on on a limb and say God is good. God mm. is good, right? Mm. So if He's good, He will be doing good things. And lusting is not a good attribute of a God. Okay, so lust is not a good thing. But what I yeah. just thought, what I just said to you, this is in the Quran, and this is what Muhammad he claimed he received from his God, not me. The, uh, in Quran about yeah, in the Quran. Lust. Here we go. Let us go, me and you, in the Quran. I don't know if you can see my screen. Just be I sure. Can see. Okay. So I, I will take what you, you know, I, I will take that you are a decent person and you will not uh, bite back what you just said because everybody heard you. And it is not from God, obviously, you know, just what you said. Chapter 33, verse number 50, long list Muhammad he received from his God that he can sleep, not even to marry. This is about, I don't want to use the F word, but it's about the F word, about how many women he can have sex with. 
starting from the wives you know it's uh, it's about uh, it says here we made lawful for you your wives which is very funny because already he's sleeping with them long time ago and this is too late to tell him and whom you paid your mahar, you know the dowry for them and those who they are captive slaves whom your right hand possess and the daughter of your uncle and the other uncle and the daughter of the other uncle and the daughter of the the, the, the mother uncle and the daughter of from your the father uncle and the daughter of your uh, you know etc i mean a long list and then and he continues saying and a believing woman she offer herself to the prophet if he wish not to marry her yes thank you her to f her as a privilege for you only what do you think Amir? Uh, so uh, can you give me the worst name uh, i'll just search on my computer because uh, chapter, i can't really chapter read the whole 33 thing. verse number 50 chapter 33, Three, uh, 33. verse number 50. okay hold on Surah al -Azab, uh, Azab, right? Hmm. Okay, 33. All right, I'm going to see. Oh, sorry, just uh, read like the words before and after just to get the whole like context. No problem, take your time. 30, take your time. 33, there we go. Okay, so I mean, yeah, the same. There you go. Member purification of their absolutes. Uh, I'm trying to put put like a translation because I can't really understand Arabic as my, I mean I can understand a little bit, but not. No problem. Like, I mean, I'm showing you. Like, this is what I'm showing you on the screen. This is your Islamic translation, not mine. I don't accept any Islamic translation, by the way. I'm just showing you what Muslims they say. After the duct tape, they do, you know, because you see here it says. It does uh, to, sound. It, does it says sound here. Bad. It says to yeah. marry her. When the Arabic Arabic it says yes, thank you, ha. Yes, thank you, ha. Is I N G word. So how you can say, you know, nikah, nikah is a word. Yeah, nikah to... means, uh, you know, the F word. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, any believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet. And what she offer exactly? Sex. This is always about sex, who, who he can sleep with. And do you see it here? It says a privilege for you only. Yeah, the, it, it, it sounds bad. I will agree to you. All right. I'm believing, but remember, yeah. you you said to me that I told you when I told you this has happened to me. I was I you know I I became prophet last month and I received revelation. What you said about it, if you remember? Yeah, that doesn't sound like it's from God. It's yeah, from it's a lost. Own. It's a lost, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So how this is how, how this is a prophet? Why why God? When I, I mean Muhammad already have tons of wives already. You see, I'm a single person. I don't have a wife. So if God He said uh, uh, a believing woman, one just one, wanna give herself to this guy, I would understand. Okay, he is single. He don't have a, you know family. He don't have kids. All right, you know God is trying to encourage those believers maybe. But but it's even that one. It look weird. But this guy, he have tons of wives, hundreds of sex slaves, and still his God is busy making verses about what? His sexual desire. And not only that, after Muhammad, he said this verse, some women who they are not good looking, some of them, they are very old in age, they start offering themselves because they thought, okay, the prophet, he says, any women, this is what the verse says, any believing women, but Muhammad actually, he made a mistake. He don't want any believing women. He owned only the pretty ones and the young ones. So look what happened. The verse after it, Muhammad right away in order to push away the one who they don't look good or they are not good in age. He said, Allah told him, you, O Muhammad, can postpone the turn off whom you will of them. Your wives? What wife? They had not married them yet. What wife? <laughs> And you may receive them as you will. Look, what the heck? So now Muhammad, 
is saying look it says whomsoever you desire whomsoever you desire so it's not like first come first serve like the women they are lined up in the front of Muhammad door now and you know Muhammad now he is a king he is very mm -hmm. rich he is very worthy and those women they are seeking retirement plan if you sleep with the Prophet nobody will touch them they will have slaves they will be called the wives of the Prophet or even they will be the mistress still they are protected and Muhammad he made it so clear the woman he sleep with nobody can touch her even after he die so here it says whoever you desire you know and the one you know, like you don't desire it you set aside <laughs> yeah I will agree it sounds bad but what about if this is how God intended to how deliver come, his my message friend, how come when I said to you this has happened to me you did not come with this conclusion you never came to this you said no this is lost you did not say I maybe agree. so I mean, yeah what, what I'm saying is this is just one thing right and what about the rest of it what is the rest like I the mean, whole is, Quran, is, right? if there is any rest he, the whole Quran is about this the whole Quran is about Muhammad sexual desire and money how much Muhammad money he take from the booty the booty uh-huh how much do you know uh, can you repeat that what about the booty the booty you know like when they when oh, when, I see when, so. when I they thought go... you meant like the <laughs> huh i thought you meant like the you no know, the no booty. Not, not the ass not the ass no i'm talking about the the booty from the war uh-huh yeah yeah so what what is the percentage of muhammad so here it says know that whatever you may come by a fifth of it for Allah and his apostle <laughs> so if we go to war and we have let us say we come back with ten thousand dollars ten thousand piece of gold mm -hmm. from every five pieces Muhammad will take one piece and let us say we have ten thousand soldiers so what is that for the soldiers Muhammad is a big I thief mean, you see why yeah. he need the fifth why Muhammad he is is he seeking uh, like uh, insurance is he seeking retirement is he worried about uh, in the future he will be hungry is he this is a prophet of God why the fifth and he is making himself equal to Allah to Allah and his messenger which means when you give it to Muhammad you give it to Allah so all cult leaders Amir all all of them with no exception they want two things from their followers their money and their women all of them you can check history you can go right now and there is cult leaders even from the Christians you know there's cult leaders from every religion they are they take advantage of people you know like you might go to a church and then you find out later this priest is a is a child molester like Muhammad or you might find he is sleeping around with the women in his church and he is even rape, rapist maybe uh, uh, and he fooled them and he take control of them because supposedly now he is a he 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 is he's the one who present God so those women they will be come in fear and if he if he brainwashed them they will never even complain so what is the difference between those and your prophet nothing money and sex okay and, uh, and let's say um, uh, let's say I agree to your point, right? Mm -hmm. That Islam is just made up religion by a cult leader, mm -hmm. right? And I was looking into Christianity, right? And uh, I mean, I'm living in US, so I meet more Christians at my work, my school and all that. But my question is why Christian Christianity is so different than the traditional, like the the uh, the Jews. What is What do you mean the, the different? Tell me the difference how Jews dress up how they pray and all those traditions well, Muslims okay. see. you know you see let us say we copy the Jews as they pray uh, but there's nowhere in the Bible it says how you should pray I mean exactly people Jesus he said you go to your closet and pray to your father you do whatever you, you know I mean prayer is not about bowing down standing up you can do that too you know but it's about how much your heart is in the prayer not how much your mouth is in it how much your hands is moving so what if somebody do gymnastic and he is praying to God okay well he, his heart what count is what he meant what he believed 
on what he is saying and how serious he is about it. So, you, you know, you might focus in the rituals, in appearance, but all of those are deceiving. This is why Jesus actually he forbid us from doing what the Muslims do. As an example, he forbid us from being like the hypocrites who pray in the corners. What the Muslim did do? I saw a Muslim in your in your essay. He put a rag in the top of his taxi. I mean, the guy in the top of the taxi. So everybody can see him. You go where yeah, to pray? Absolutely. You go in the park. Why? Because you want everybody to see it. We Christian, we are not. We should not do that. The second a Christian, he start doing this. He is being hypocrite. He want to show off. So for you, you are being good, supposedly. For us, this is a very clear sign of hypocrisy. Jesus, he said, when you fast, you don't tell people that you are fasting. You know, wash your face normally like everybody. Don't act like you are, you know, just because this is between you and your God. What the Muslim they do? When they fast, they tell everybody they are fasting. Please don't talk to me. It's Ramadan. Allahu Akbar. Ramadan. Please, my nose is like, I cannot, I cannot really handle this. Please, it's Ramadan. Okay? And what they do on Ramadan, agree, and yeah. you know, and you are a Muslim. In Ramadan, they eat all night and they sleep all day. So what is the fasting? Or what you do, you switch the day night and the night day, day. Me, myself, I fast more than Muslims. I eat once a day. Honest to God, I eat once a day. Every 24 hours. So I fast really more than you all the year. You Muslim, you don't fast. So you lie to yourself saying, I'm fasting. In fact, you eat more. All of us we knew. And if, if you are coming from Pakistan, uh, you know that the price of food in Islamic countries goes so crazy in the month of Ramadan, correct? Yes. Okay, why? Because people eat more. <laughs> it, it's also people take advantage. No, no, no. You see, like the, the market, are my friend, expensive. Amir, the market is about demand. If nobody buying it, the price will go down because what they would do with the tomato, they would throw it in the street. They cannot keep it. What they would do with the meat, they throw it in the street. They cannot keep it. So they want to sell it. But when there is too many more, more demand, then the price go higher and higher and higher. So Muslims in Ramadan, they eat way more than any other month. So what the benefit of Ramadan? What is the fasting? When I was a, so, when, I, when I was a kid, I visited a Muslim in his house. He used to come to my house. You know, we are kids. And then we, we, we go to his house. We eat cookies. His mom, she make nice cookies. And he come to my house and, you know, I, you know, share with him baklava. And uh, like in Ramadan, uh, before we leave his house, he said, wait, wait, I cannot just leave like this. I said, what? So he went to the kitchen and he put salt over his lips. And I was talking to him. He could not respond because the salt will fill down. So we cannot talk. So I said, what, what are you doing? Why you put salt over your lips? He said, this is what all my family, they do before we go out. We put salt on our lips that will make them look dry so people will not know that you were you are not fasting if your lips is is not dry that's mean you did not fast so all the family they have a dish of salt in the counter and i was wondering why too much salt in a dish like this i mean all of us we have salt but we have like a small container so that we can spray the, the salt over the food but not a dish they have a dish, they dip their hand they put in, their in their lips and they put it in the, in the salt and they put it in their lips. So when they go out, people will think they are really, really, truly believers and they are fasting. So what I see, Islam is nothing but a hypocrisy. And even you're fasting, even if you fast, you're not fasting, you're just eating more. And you're just switching day and time. And not only that, in Ramadan, crimes increase, violence increase. You know, you can go right now and search and see how, how crimes increase in Ramadan. So, what is good about Islam, Amir? Nothing. See, what you're saying is is from the people that you you seen doing wrong things, right? It doesn't really okay. Like I said, my Was family. Do Muhammad I mean, fast? He, I don't think he fasted. I mean, they had they had problems. They were really poor at some point. Uh -huh. They had to. Well, Muhammad yeah. is a king now, and he is getting the fifth of the booty, and he took all the money of the Jews, and he's poor. See, I'm I'm not. That's why I said I'm not going into the history because I don't really. All right. Believe, if you, you are know, fasting, trust. if you are fasting, what do you think about sucking the tongue of your wife from time to time for a snack? Like kissing. 
Yeah. No, not French kissing, French. not kissing, sucking it. Suck. Who sucks the tongue? Muhammad. <laughs> I I mean, I didn't read that, so I can't. I mean, why would you suck tongue? You know, I mean, I know French kissing. Well, the guy, you... he likes sucking tongues. I don't know what to do. Can... Are you asking me or you are? What? I don't know. You are. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm the messenger, not the message. So the Aisha, she said that the prophet, he used to suck her tongue while he is fasting. So how he is fasting and supposedly no liquid should go in. And then the guy is busy sucking her tongue. And what kind yes. of a wife, what kind of a yeah. wife? Imagine I have a wife. Thank God I don't. And now then she open a channel on YouTube and she say, hey guys, my husband, Christian Vince, he sucked my tongue. Uh, can you explain to us how? Mm -hmm, like that. Uh, what the heck is that? What kind of a wife? She's a wife of a prophet, not a wife of a guy in the street, you know, anyone. She is the wife of the prophet and supposedly her husband is the example of the Muslims. And she is the example of the Muslim women too. She is the best between them. So how and what kind of a wife she go in public and she tell everybody what the prophet he do with her even different hadith says that the prophet used to fondle her when she have her period and he ordered her to put a sheet between her legs when the blood is coming out so this woman i mean this is a very weird religion in one hand we see muslims wearing the hijab and the niqab and supposedly they are conservative the second you start talking with muslim women things go out of control <laughs> what Muslim woman did you talk to? Huh? Uh, I don't think any Muslim woman would talk like this. Well, go and, uh, you know, see there's a video of a Muslim woman. Her name is uh, Tahani. She called me and she said to me that she, Jesus, he used to play with the boobs of his mother. And she was speaking like a whore. And my experience, you know, I am, I am born in the Middle East. Uh, in order to go to sleep at that time, there was no cell phone. In order to go to sleep, I have to take off the phone off, the, the, the line, you know, the jack. In order to go, uh, the second they know that this house or this person, you have a number and he's single, the number will not stop ringing. And they answer the phone, hello, uh, sorry, I can't speak loud, my husband is here. So Muslim men, they have bars over their windows. They have steel doors on their doors. Muslim women, they are acting like Aisha, even Aisha. I'm not trying to insult you, by the way. I'm not trying to insult your family. I do not know your family, and I am assuming your family are good. Yeah, people. I mean, I, I've never, I've never seen anything like this. I, I mean, I know okay, a lot of Muslims. Have you ever heard yeah, of? Of uh, are you are you a Muslim Sunni? My family, yes, I'm okay. uh, belong to right. the Sunni. You never sect, heard of yeah. something called Zawaj al Orfi? Can you repeat that? Al Orfi, al Orfi. Zawaj no, Orfi. I, 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 Zawaj no. Orfi, you go and take a woman to a sheikh. He is like not, not even real sheikh like Uthman, the one in San Diego. You give him 25 uh, uh, pound and he marry her to you. But it's not a marriage. You go sleep together and you have little paper in your pocket. It's not even accepted by anybody. Have you ever heard of something called Zawaj your friend? Uh, no, n not, not this crazy Zawaj stuff. Zawaj your friend heard. is you have a friend, but you cannot have her to live with you or you don't want to have a family or what you need both of you, you want to have sex so what do you do you sign a contract it's called zawaj a friend which means friend with sex but legally with benefits yeah but legally now she is your wife so what do you do but you take but her Christian to the hotel friends. once a week you take her to the hotel once a week or twice a week depending on your needs and then she go home and you go home have you ever heard yeah, see, of, of zawaj you see I'm sorry to interrupt you. I mean, you have endless numbers of of, uh, of of names of Zawaj. And even Mimi Hijab, he have a video about Muslim women marrying a woman for three minutes. Christian Prince, you're talking about all this stuff, right? I never, ever heard. And I've never seen anybody actually doing it. It could be from from like some weird hadiths, what those right. called like... Did your, uh, did your prophet order the Muslim to practice three days sex? Can you repeat that? Did your prophet order the Muslims or he promo, uh, permitted the Muslims to have three days, three nights sex? Three days? Three? I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know these, these, uh, the crazy hadiths that you're, you're coding. Read it. You are calling it crazy, by the way. 
That's mean your private is crazy. Thank you very much. You're just Islam. So I'm saying like if it's yeah, if it's if it's like those hadiths, you know, I don't friend, really. You are trying. Look, let, let me tell you what you are trying to do. You are trying to make yourself feel more comfortable by saying, "Oh, those hadith are really crazy. I don't accept them." You know, but who are you to accept or not? Those are. This is what Islam is based on. So if you deny what Muhammad he said and it's authentic, proven by all the scholars, that's mean. And this is even the Quran, Quran chapter four, verse twenty-four. So the muta is a Quranic order from Allah, not only the hadith. The so, muta is not. Is it in? Is it in in Sahih hadith? This is Sahih Hadith and the Muta in the Quran. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Okay, so it's not only the Hadith, it's the Quran. But the Hadith give you more details. So your Prophet said, if a man and a woman agree to have Muta, look, the Muslim, we went to into bracket, they say temporary marriage. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of some, such a terms? To temporary marriage? Like, what the heck is that? So Yeah, that's, that's like prostitution. It is a prostitution, exactly. Their marriage should last for three nights, and if they like to continue, they can do so. And if they want to separate, they can do so. I do not know whether that was so, it's around. Okay, I know this was uh, it was uh, it, it is not continued. What do you call it? If uh, like in it's I think in the hadith where it says that it's, it should not be practiced, isn't it? It was just for that. No, time. It says that the prophet he forbid it. And then he allow it, and then he forbid it, and then he allow it, and then he forbid it, and then he allow it, and this is a clear proof that Muhammad is a mentally ill. I mean, either you forbid it or you allow it. I mean, and uh, if you allow it once, why you forbid it? If it was wrong, so why you allow it? And from the beginning, people are not doing it. You know, why? Why I need to tell? Let us say I'm a prophet now. Uh, Actually, I have all all the the reasoning to think I'm a Muslim prophet. I like I like women. Is that a problem? What do you think? Can you repeat that? I you, like you I like, like I like women. Do you think I have a future to apply to Allah to be a prophet? I mean, liking women is natural. I like women too. You do. You must be a prophet like me then. Here we go. We have two prophets. <laughs> but I now. mean, liking something is one thing, but actually acting on that is, is what's wrong. Oh, no, wrong. no. I like to act on it too. I want to have like a lot of women, man. Like, you know, I want, like once I uh, uh, I was in a in a hotel and then I opened the door and I found like 20 women in the in the corridor of the, of the hotel. I said, oh God, thank you for sending me those women. They, then they said to me, one of them, she said, sir, are you leaving so we can clean the room? What the heck? I thought they are the wives. Anyway, so it was not really what I was expecting from Allah because I was praying all night to send me women all for themselves, like unlimited, non-stop, you know. But, but So I, I, I have the qualification to be a prophet. But look at this. This is a prophet sent by God. Is he supposed to teach in decency or he's supposed to teach lost yeah i mean i agree this hadith does act make me question because why i mean you know there's something called masturbate you know you can do that you, you don't have to really get a woman to, if you're on the desert or whatever you, uh, i so i don't understand this myself like why allow it you know it's, it to me sounds like prostitution don't you know that allah himself he masturbate hold on what happened But I'll be back. All right. Do you want me to hang up with you, like uh, for later you call me, or just? Yeah, I'll um I'll I'll be on mute. I'll be back. All right. Uh, anyway, guys, we go back to the video where our friend here, the Muslim, uh, <clears throat> uh, he said uh, the following. As long he is not ready to talk now. Yeah, of course I'm gonna say. Uh, no, no, no. This, this is why he's saying Allah. Okay, hey, Allah, no, 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 no. No, so this is this is Allah. Okay, what's that? Okay, what's that? So what? No, what's that? Okay, so what's that? Okay. Okay. No, 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 that's all. No, it's not a miracle, man. Okay, so who? So Allah, 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 Allah has a hands. No. This is a sign. This is small. It's a miracle. What sign is? The guy, he said to him, Allah has a hand. The guy, the Muslim, he says, no, no, it's a sign. It's a miracle. <laughs> okay, I'm back, CP. All right, my friend. 
So yeah, so uh, I was saying like this Hadi does uh, make me question the whole thing, right? Because why allow it in the begin with? Why exactly. not say have patience, have control over yourself? So I agree to you. This is wrong to begin with because you know God should be the one telling people to control themselves. To all right. So you, did you decide to leave Islam? What do you think? I mean, okay. If like I said. What about the in the golden age of Islam? Like you know, it was doing really well. This so, what I saw actually when I came to the chat. I saw you before I go live. You were saying golden age, and the funny is, do you know what the golden age of Islam is? The time when the Muslim they have tens of thousands of six slaves. This is the golden age, and all those who they call them scientists and Muslim now they are proud about them. They were considered the atheists, the kuffar. Many of them actually got killed. So. The Muslims, because you know they they they, they hijack anything like you know anyone so, anyone uh, you see yeah uh, listen when somebody is famous the Muslims they are power seekers they love power they love fame and this is why they target famous people like uh, lately the Muslims are celebrating that someone he is a pimp imagine a pimp the guy he abused thousands and thousands of women and he misled maybe millions of people by his porn. I searched his name in the internet. I found thousands. I got disgusted at the second I type his name. Nothing but porn. And the Muslims are so excited about him. Interview, show, etc. And they are claiming, even today, that this person is very influencer. But, I mean, how a pimp can influence Muslims? He's a I pimp. Agree. Literally yeah. a pimp. So, so here we all need to ask ourselves a question. When a Muslim, they say the golden age of Islam. Did you ask yourself, which is the golden age of Islam? Is that in the time of the Caliphate oh, of uh, Man? Give me, give me a moment. I'm sorry, I'll be back. All right. Hello? Yes, my friend. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm back. So what is sorry, our yes, conclusion sorry, about your off. prophet? What do you think? The golden age is, is where yeah. the Caliphate, they have tons of thousands of sex slaves. Where the where the where the, the Muslims they don't even have a work to do. Do you know what the Muslim used to do for a living? I mean, listen, Christian Prince, can you open a Wikipedia page? I know it's Wikipedia, but they put all their information in one place. Islamic Golden Age, and my friend, then we can talk. I mean, about this it, is okay? all is a sh my friend. I don't want to use a bad word, but this is a Wikipedia. You can log in and you can write as you wish. Don't you know that? I know, I know, but they somebody, have, they have somebody uh, created, a citation. Somebody in created in Wikipedia page about me. I never heard about it. You know, they told me there is a page, and then somebody told me they delete it. The Muslim they complain, and then the Muslim they made a page, and then they delete it again, and then I don't know. So people make pages. This is internet. The Wikipedia is not, is not history. I can now go to the same page you are saying, and I can log in. If the admins of the website they approve it, it goes. So we don't want to go by Wikipedia. What about we go to Wika Islam, which is your hadith? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the, they no, have, the funny they have, is the funny they have is, citation at no, the end. I find it funny, Amir, that you reject what your prophets say, but you are going to believe in Islam through Wikipedia. Uh, listen, Christian mm. Prince, mm. they have citations at the end. So if if they make a claim. You can go to the citation well, and you can say this citation is not right. No, that, no, that... I do not need. Okay, give me the citation and I will be. I will, I will give you the answer right away. I okay, just, okay. I just told you the answer, my friend. The caliphate, they are the most pervert, crazy. You know, Al Khalif Al Ma'moon, they call him Al Ma'boon. He is a homosexual who sleep with the children. Al Hakim bi Amrullah Al Fatimi, the caliphate of Egypt. He used to have a, like a, the, the caravan, his caravan. He don't use horses. He used young, pretty youth. And they are wearing see-through clothes. He don't use horses. This is your caliphate. Omar, according to Muslims, according to the Hadith, he have a problem in his anus. And he used the sperm of men for medicine. Uthman, they call him Al Ma'boon, not only Al Ma'foon. Uthman, when he was killed, did you ask yourself why he was killed? Who killed him? Is it the Christians? Is it the Jews? No. 
it was the Muslim. And before they killed him, they took the hair of his beard one by one. And before, they did not even let him get buried. They buried him with the Jews. And then the, the, they, took his, they took him again from the grave and they start dragging him in the floor, in the ground, everywhere. They cut his head. So what about Fatima? Omar, he attacked the house of Fatima. Supposedly she is the daughter of Muhammad. And he caused her to have a miscarriage and less a few months after she died. What about Ali? What about the children of Muhammad? This is the golden age. This is the golden age of Islam. Muhammad, he just died. This is not 10th century after. Aisha, she took an army to kill Ali. Aisha, this little woman, now she is 18. What she do? She took an army to kill the most close person to her husband. Go and search the 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 battle the battle of the camel. Yeah, I I read about it. Yeah, okay. after. But this is the golden age. The golden age of Islam. About... Muslims are killing each other. This is why for centuries, you know, Muslims as as number they are really small in number, especially in Saudi Arabia. Where is the where is the Muslims? No, like the algebra, the the um, algorithm. This guy, this guy, uh, this guy. Either he is a Sabian, mostly he's a Sabian, or he's a Christian. But I believe mostly. He is a Sabian. So a, you would agree there was uh, a lot of scientific um, research in, in the Muslim world back in the days, right? Like by all those. Friend, no. All of those. You see, the, the Muslims are, I'm not trying to insult you, but Muslims are hypocrites. If we say today to the Muslims, is the Shia Muslims, they will say no. Okay, so uh, I remember once I was in school and the teacher is teaching us about uh, Arab, Arab, listen, Arab Muslim scientist. He wrote on the board Al Khawarizmi. Al Khawarizmi, he is genius, he is amazing, is etc. I said, Sir, what Khawarizmi mean? Doesn't make sense in Arabic, you know. Uh, yeah. He said, Because he is born in Khawarizm. Uh, I heard about him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can said, we is, go I over said, what, is Khawarizm? what is Khawarizm? He said, In Iran, in Persia. So how he is an Arab, I mean, in our book, in the book of history, they say he is an Arab, but the guy is from Khawarizm. So okay, anyone, well, anyone, he, he got famous, they put him in the book. Like your prophet, as an example, you're a prophet, he heard about Alexander the Great, he made him Muslim, but all the books, all history knows that Alexander the Great, he was a bisexual, this guy, he, have, he liked to be done by men. Men sleep with him, and he sleep with men. Alexander the Great became a Muslim, and he made a chapter about him in the Quran. What about the seven sleepers? Seven sleepers is a famous fiction story about seven Christians. He okay, put it in the what Quran. about huh? Ibn, Ibn Sina? Who? Ibn Sina? And my friend, you are searching in, in, in Google. What you what no, Sina have to no, do no, with your prophet? No, no, he's famous. I mean, my friend, you, my friend, you, what uh, yeah. is Ibn Sina is a Muslim? Yeah, I mean that's what they what say. What is the proof is that he's a Muslim? His his books. Did, did, you did Ibn Sina make a drawing about drawing of what? Like he wrote books, right? He is a yeah, philosopher. Yeah, he wrote books about what? Uh, medicine. Exactly. Did he draw therapy. a human being? He. I mean, I don't know. I see. He did. I, what no, I, he did it draw is, human being. Different. So, but this is against Islam. Again, Islam is Europe. Europe prophet. He said, mm -hmm. "The one who make a draw of any living creature, Allah will bring him in the day of judgment, and He will ask him to blow into it, which means from his mouth, to make it come to life. If he could not do that, He will send him to hell." Can you prove that Ibn Sina was not actually um, Islamic? Well, all of actually, them, I'm not trying. All of them. And, and uh, listen, listen. You see, I just showed you what your prophet did. You you get ashamed. Now, what you are trying to do, I'm going to go behind the guy. His name is Ibn Sina. But what Ibn Sina have to do with Muhammad? Listen, we have millions. Uh, listen, listen, listen. I mean, your logic is is is, is awkward. What Christian scientists? We have a billion scientists. They are Christian. What does have to do with Jesus? 
Um, what? See, Christian friends, I'm not trying to defend Muhammad. No, 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 no. This is I'm not. not trying you see, you are, you are, you are far away from able to defend because I cannot defend Jews or a Christian by saying Einstein, by saying uh, uh, Freddy, by saying yeah. uh, etc. What those names have to do with the Christianity or Jew? Sure. Jew they are a Christian. They are Jews. No problem. But this is so, nothing uh, to do. Listen. This is have nothing to do with the religion. I'm asking you now. Was uh, your okay? Is, hold hold on. Uh, as long yeah. you speak about science, as long you mention Ibn Sina, correct? Do you no, accept? No, the, do you I'm accept the is, science of Ibn Sina or the science of Allah? Listen, Christian Prince. Look, hmm. I'm not. I'm not saying whether Islam is right or not. I'm not saying with whether Islam is the reason for any of this. I'm just discussing what, like, how do. Why those people were, you know, like this, the person who came up with algorithm, with the person who came up with, like, he's not a Muslim. He is not a Muslim. This guy, this guy is not a Muslim. Go check, go check his born where. You will find right oh, away. Until uh, now, that area, a... until now, that area is a Sabian area. They are not even Muslim. They are not Christian. They are, they are stars worshippers. I'm asking, like, you what? See, but what this have to do? I, I will go with you now. Do you accept a science of university or the science of Allah? I, I, I neither. I'm not talking about whether it's wrong or whether... No, we are. I'm... We are because when you mention them, you are trying to yeah. find something you can be proud about. You claim that this is because of Islam. But Islam no wrote Christian nothing. Ibn, Ibn Sina is a very famous, well-known philosopher. Is that correct? Yes. He said the Arab, they are savage. And he is an Arab. The Arab are savage. They are willing to burn a library in order to cook a dish. Go check it out. The Arab, what, what happened to Alexandria Library? The biggest library in the world. It's gone. Yes, that's my question. What happened that made Muslims become so violent? But my friend, back in the day? no, they are always from the beginning. What are you talking about? Was your prophet not violent? Was your was Uthman not violent? Was Omar not violent? Was Ali not violent? Was Aish not violent? What are you talking about? So is it okay? Let me ask you: Did your prophet say, it? Uh, "I've been victorious by terror"? Can you repeat? Did your prophet says, "I was victorious by terror"? Terror. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, there was a lot of war. Jangi but a lot of war. I mean, the guy he says that I was victorious by terror from a distance of one month journey. So when people, they hear that Muhammad is coming, a month journey, they run. This is how terrorists they are. ISIS, you know, the, the, the guy who converted to Islam, he, there's a video of him, he said, uh, you can search it. This guy, his name is Andrew uh, uh, Tate. He says, the true Muslims are ISIS. The true well, he, Muslims. He, he's a clown. I mean, no, what? no, he's... no, no. This is the truth. Actually, I'm going to make a video just about it. He is saying the truth. You just said he is a clown. Well, you have to agree then that your prophet is a clown, because this is what Muhammad did. If ISIS are doing as Muhammad did, and then this pervert who converted to Islam because Quran allow you to be a pimp, as the chapter of Al Hazab says, you can run, you can run a business as a pimp. So he is saying the truth. Why you Muslims you wash your hands from what Muhammad did? Is it ISIS? Can you name for me one thing ISIS did? Muhammad did not do. Just one. I mean, I'm not defending Muhammad or I'm not Andrew asking or... you to defend. I'm just asking you if there is something ISIS did, Muhammad did not do. Muhammad. He no, they uh, they are copying the, uh, the 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 sunnah. I agree to you. They are copying Muhammad, the sunnah. What do we say, sunnah? You know what sunnah mean? Sunnah yeah, is like the Muhammad, sunnah, the prophet. Exactly what Muhammad did and what the companion did, because this is the best thing to do. So we cannot wash our hands and say, "Oh, those are bad." You know, this Muhammad is bad. Muhammad is the first terrorist. Do you do you do you like science, Amir? Of course, yeah. You know I'm what? Of do, you know, do you know what? I am not married. Let me turn off the YouTube. So just between me and you, I heard that women they have testicles and they're breast. 
Of course not. I mean, what? I, I, oh, hold on. You see, I have a scientific proof, mm -hmm. and I spoke to many scientists, and this is why I was. I'm terrified actually. I don't want to go to the bedroom like you marry a woman. She looked like a human being, and then she go in the bed, and then she take off her clothes, you know, and then like what the heck? She have breast testicles. So I said to myself, I'm not going to go through this. I don't want to even see them. I'm really terrified. Are you married, Amir? Christian Prince. Are you married? I, Are yeah. you married? No. No. That's why this is why you're still happy. If you go in the bedroom, my friend, and you see what those women have, you will not believe it. You will get scared. I mean, they, they look nice, by the way. They look like, you know, and especially when they put makeup and those stuff to fool us and perfume. But in fact, they are real men. They have testicles, not breasts. Those are those are two big testicles. What do you think about that? Chris, I, as look, what you're saying is right. That's I'm not really even talking about that. I no, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about something in the Quran. The, it's, the, it's Quran, Quran, claim, show... the Quran claim that women she have a sperm coming from the back, from the ribs, from the top rib. What kind of God? You are the one who mentioned to me science. You are the one who said, what about Ibn Sina? So as long as you are a person who go by science, let us go by science. What kind of God does God he claim that women, they have a breast testicles and this, they have a... Since when women, they have a sperm? I Okay, Christian, listen. Okay, let's agree for the sake of argument. Islam is wrong. Okay. No, no, not. I don't go by the sake of argument. I don't go to that point. Because I, I, I'm trying no, to. No, no, Amir. You see, you are trying. You are trying to. You know what you are trying to do? You are trying to do like me. You know, when it's rain, uh, in order to not to hold an umbrella, I walk between the drops of the water. But my rain is so hard, you cannot escape between the drops like me. I'm so fast. Are you? So I'm asking you. How God, he claimed to be God. He claimed that men sperm coming from the backbone, which is very funny, and women sperm coming from the ribs. All of us, we knew that women, they don't have a sperm. And how in the world the sperm is coming from the ribs? Where Allah, he got such an amazing knowledge. What happened to the, the balls? So when the man, his sperm coming from the backbone, what what is that mean did allah he thought that balls are like a christmas uh, tree decoration they are there hang there just for decoration what the heck is See, that they, but on the other hand if you know like they they used to do uh what you call those they used to make people impotent right by what does this have to do with my topic? I'm asking you. I'm saying How because God, they, they knew, my friend, they no, no, where... this is not about important and etc. This is about your God saying in the Quran that a human being he have a semen and the semen is coming from the backbone. So what the testicles for? And how in the world women they have semen coming from the since when women they have semen? Meaning chocolate. Yeah, I have to read that. Uh, I agree. It does sound kind of stupid. It sounds stupid, right? And here we go. Let me show you yeah. that it's not because they might say to you, Christian Prince is lying to you. It doesn't say that, CP. You know, this is what the Muslim I, I know about this verse. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's why I'm here. Let, let I me, say that I'm Let studying. me show you. Let me show you your Islamic interpretation in the golden age, as long as you like the golden age, by the way. Uh, me, myself, <laughs> I don't like golden age, to be honest with you. And in, in my golden age, you know, I used to be far from school every day. I don't want to go back to that day. So look at this. This is the this is Ibn Kathir. He say here, he explained the Quran and he speak Arabic and he's an Arab and he's very famous. Not like those potatoes in YouTube. He says to you, how Allah, he created a human being. Let us see what he say. He says, let us see from what he is created. And then he continued saying, he is a created from gushing forth a fluid. He I created from before. water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out bursting forth from the man and the woman. Thus, the child is proceeded from both of them by the permission of Allah, for sure, by permission of Allah, you kidding me? And then, Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. And this is here the cheese. Read with me. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. 
which is referring where does to her it chest. Say that? It's in the front of you. Oh, okay. And yeah, it's now. Uh, it wasn't before. Yeah. Meaning the backbone of the man and rib of a woman, which is referring to earth. So, I mean, okay, uh, why would they say this? Okay, let's say this is wrong, right? But why would they say if they actually knew where it comes from? It's not that hard to know. I mean, no, at that time, nobody no, at that time, people. Muhammad is making up stories. Uh, you know, Muslims, you Muslims, you claim that at that time, the majority are actually, by the way, until now, most of Saudi Arabia are illiterate. Until now, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. I'm drinking my coffee. The coffee went in the wrong place. Until now, the Saudi are illiterate. Until now, 2022. So why he's saying that, he is speaking to illiterate. He's trying to fool them. He heard somebody maybe saying something like this. Muhammad always copies somebody, you know? Okay. So Yeah, yeah I mean, it makes sense. It doesn't right. matter where he is saying. Now, this is Quran. This is not Muhammad saying that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christian friends. I agree to you that like I said, I read this before and I have my questions. This is not even the biggest problem I have. My problem is where you say is you can have a sexual relationship with the right hand possessed. I think that's just, you cannot justify that. And the words about wife beating. So I am agreeing with you that there is stuff in it that's wrong. So that's why I didn't want to talk about it because I agree to you from the beginning. No, no, but you see, uh, we are trying to prove if Allah is God or not anyway. Because when you say you are a Muslim, it's mean you are following what Allah say, right? Yes. Okay. And if Allah he says something so stupid, you are following a stupid Allah. I I didn't say I'm actually following Islam. I'm studying it too because I say I I come no, from. No, you I I asked you, are you a Muslim? You said yes. So you because I come from Islamic family. Okay, but right? you identify yourself. You don't say I'm an atheist. You say I'm a Muslim. Are you an atheist or a Muslim? At the moment, I am studying Islam, and because my family... This is not the do... question. My friend, when you call me, I ask you, are you a Muslim? You said yes. Yes, technically. Okay, technically, because... so you are a Muslim. Yes, but I'm... See, when I see these things, like these, these words and other words, I kind of question it. Yeah, so like, now, it, now it you be... are maybe in the stage of leaving Islam. That's a good point, but still you are a Muslim. Did you leave Islam right now after talking to me or not yet? I, I am in the process, I would say, because I, my family, like I see them completely different than what Quran says. And I'm like, why are they doing the right thing if it's really that bad, all that, you know? Because they don't know. Stuff. Because they don't know like you. You don't know. You don't know. You yourself, you know, you get surprised with many things I said to you. So your family do not know. You know, be, being uh, your family being good people because they are good people, not because they are... They are uh, Following Muhammad, if they follow Muhammad, actually they will be the bad. They will be bad people. You yourself and your father will will, will follow terrorism. Do you know that in Islam, the wife she can lie to her husband? Do your mother lie to her to your, to your father with my respect to her? No. Okay, so she is not following Muhammad. Muhammad he allowed the man to lie to the wife, and he allowed the wife to lie to the husband. And you ask them, what is the logic of that? He says, well, there is a, this is a good logic, so the, the marriage can continue. <laughs> so, you know, and not only that, a man, he can lie even about having a second wife. Even serious issue, he don't have to tell. He can lie about it. So Yes, but uh, listen, CP, uh -huh. uh, I have to go, but I just want to make this point. The reason why I'm still holding on to Islam is because I don't know the alternative, right? I mean, I read Christianity and I, like I say, I have problems with the Trinity and, you know. Tell me about the Trinity. Why do you have a problem with it? <clears throat> see, I will talk about it later. I have to go right, right now, but right. I'll come back and we can talk about it. Right, but I'm to trying to say that. why I'm still holding on to it, even though I know it has a lot of issues. in And uh, we... I mean, every any any person with open mind can read that it is wrong to to hit your wife. No, it doesn't matter if it's lightly or not. So I don't agree to those things. But on the other hand, I'm trying to question. Okay, you know, Islam is not true. So God never communicated with with the people, right? And when I talk about Christianity, I have you know the issue because Christianity friend, to me first, first sounds step, like a, as long as long you are not convinced with Islam, then denounce Islam, and then you can think about what is next. You know. 
but you don't but that is not an excuse to be foolish I'm not insulting you because it's foolish to stay where you are yet you know that where you are is wrong it's see that's why I said I can't really answer when you ask me are you Muslim I am by the fact that I was born into it but do I believe in it I have questions my friend Amir, I welcome you here thank you for calling me and I encourage you if you next time if you want to call me you can invite even your family your father your brothers <laughs> Everybody, I will be happy to talk to them, and you will see all of you will leave Islam, all of you together. Mari ikut Yesus. Mari ke jalan yang benar. Tuhan berkati.